In this video, I'm going to give you six steps to make sure you receive the medical treatment you need in the California workers' compensation system. My name is Matt Eason. I'm an attorney and I've been representing injured employees for the last 25 years. My office regularly represents employees, never employers. And in this video, I want to give you six basic steps in the process to make sure that you can get the treatment that you deserve. The first step to making sure that you get the treatment you need is to make sure that you properly filed a claim. Lots of employers don't give the employees the proper claim form to get the system going. There's a form called DWC-1 and you need to make sure you fill it out completely and accurately and give it to your employer so that you get into the workers' compensation system. Step two to making sure you get the treatment you need is to make sure you choose a doctor that you like and trust. Now admittedly, during the first 30 days of your worker compensation case, the claims adjuster has the right to control which doctors you go to. However, once that 30 days is up, if you don't like the doctor they've chosen, then choose your own. The third step to making sure that you're getting the proper treatment is to make sure that your doctor's office is properly communicating with the utilization review. What happens is when your doctor requests treatment, there's a form that they have to fill out and it has to be sent off. Doctor's offices don't always do that because they're not used to this process. So make sure that's being done. The fourth step to making sure that you get the treatment that you need is to follow through. When your doctor's office submits the request to utilization review, there's a five day window in which they have to approve or deny the request. If they don't act within that five day period, then you have the right to file a request for an expedited hearing and have a workers' compensation appeals judge make a determination if you're entitled to those benefits and more often than not, they're going to rule in your favor. The fifth step to making sure you get the treatment you need is that if the utilization review denies your claim, then what you need to do is you file a request for an independent medical review. And if they approve it, you get your treatment. If they don't, then at that point in time, you go back to your treating physician and you ask them to resubmit the claim based on new or different facts and circumstances. The sixth step to making sure you get the treatment that you need has to do when you disagree with your medical treater. This is usually in the first 30 days when you're forced to use their treater. But if you disagree with them and they're not giving you the treatment you think you need, you have the right to request a qualified medical examiner to review your case and to assist. Obviously in the workers' compensation system and medical treatment can be fluid and there are lots of different things come up, but hopefully those six tips will help you along the way. If you're in California, you've got questions about your workers' compensation case, I hope you'll consider reaching out to us. My name again is Matt Eason, and I'm with the law firm of Eason and Tambernini. We're located at 1234H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can reach us by phone at area code 916-438-1819, or find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com. Thanks again for watching, and I wish you the best.